Hey everybody, welcome back to the Usual Podcast, episode 104, round of applause, please. Oh my god, what an episode, what a surprise, what a surprise. For the audio listeners, head over to the YouTube so you can see it. We have now revealed the new merch and we have a release date. We're not going to say the release date for the merch until Cam joins the podcast. But this is one of two pieces that we are dropping that will be available to you very soon. But if you're new here, if you haven't already, look below, you see the subscribe button. Is it pressed? You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section is fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. The first Twitch stream was absolutely amazing. You guys loved it we had a fantastic time doing it we're gonna we're gonna create a schedule so that y'all can know whenever i'm streaming and all that good stuff we'll get to that later on patreon we have more time on patreon we're taking a little break from touring until the summer those dates are going to be coming out soon and those venues are going to be coming out soon but in the meantime we have more time so that means we get to do more cool stuff on patreon coming soon we have a full day in the live series where we'll take you each episode so through a day in the life of each You Should Know podcast member. It is going to be a fantastic series. I cannot wait for all you Koala Club members to go enjoy that. If you're not a part of the Koala Club, click the link in the top of the description. Join the Koala Club. You will not regret it. Facebook is on and popping. Shout out to the Facebook fam. Click the link to join the Facebook fam in the Discord. You know I love you. Shout out to the Watch Party. Shout out to Piranha. Shout out to all, all the mods over there. Shout out to every member of the Discord. We love you. We love you. We love you. I hope y'all like the new merch. We're going to talk about it a little more when Cam joins. And now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Bring them out. Bring them out. Cam's gonna make me scream and shout. It's it, hard to yell when that bad rails in your mouth. Swizzy. Boom, 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 boom. We got co host Cam back in the studio. Well, give me a regular dab. I'll give more. you everything you ever wanted Thank in you. this life. I Cam, I like look at me. Hat. Look like at me. Look at me. I love you. I love you more. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> that felt good. Hey, this is gonna be a banger episode. I never mean it when I say it. We got co host. Before you rip my heart out, yeah. guys, this is the second piece of merch Woo! that is coming out. I don't know if you can tell via camera, all right? First off, they don't even give, know. give it a look. Give they it don't a even look. know. I, I'll, I'll describe it to them. The front, lower down a little bit. The front, we got the YSK in the bubble with You Should Know under it. And then we got the back, lower a little bit. Hit them hips. Get them lower. There you go. We got the You Should Know puff print on the back as well this material of this new merch guys what we're doing guys. is 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 rev we're, we're not making merch anymore we're making streetwear we are we have we have finally crossed the barrier we we stayed the course we stayed patient yep we found a beautiful partner yep and yeah now we're ready for y'all to have it we're man. ready for y'all so so basically the mission behind this new merch drop is we're making it higher higher quality talk to them more exclusive so there's only going to be about a hundred pieces of each. Of each. So as you heard, our first drop. You want to tell the date now? I'll let you tell the date. You tell it. You tell it. No, date. we'll tell you the same we'll time. We'll rock paper scissors. Same time. We'll rock paper scissors. We'll do it like episode 100. Same time. Okay. Ready? Ready. One, two, two three. three. March, March 25th. 25th. Woo! March 25th. That is a Monday. Yep. Okay. That is going to be the Monday. Ne hell, next Monday. Next Monday. Monday. Next Monday. So Woo! that is from Monday, the 25th, until. They sell out. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, the way we're approaching these. Yep. It's not like the past. You're not going to have 20 different things. Nope. To choose from. Nope. Da, da, da. You have two pieces. Yep. An amazing white and orange colorway shirt. Puff print. I don't know if you can hear it. Puff print. That shit is popping out. It is popping. It will stay like that forever. It is fantastic quality. Yep. And hell, for if you're like me, it, it's fun to fidget with. If you want to just rub your chest. Oh, it feels public, so good. Hello. Good morning. It feels but so good. It feels amazing. And the designs are beautiful. So you have this exclusive white and orange colorway tee. I'll give you one more look at it. Nice. I like when you drop low. And it has a YSK going through the you should know with the bubble. You you look, you look got a thing on you. You know what, Cam? You like that stance? You read the comments. Of last week's episode. I read some. Yeah, you, all the butt comments. You're like, oh. I read like some. This. So you want to drop it a little low. You want to, you want, you want an edit of your butt. No, I don't. I don't want an edit of hey, my somebody butt. Somebody make an edit of Cam's butt. I'll, I'll take a Cam edit. I don't really want an edit of my butt. No, you want to edit of your I'll butt. I'll take a Cam edit, but yes or no, did we hit five sets of hip thrust yesterday? We did. We did. I made eye contact with a grown- the
this that game had huge, is working. I, I made eye contact with a, a a large man the whole time I was doing 100%. it. I was I was doing hip thrusts like this. And looking dead in the eyes of this grown man, and I was like, "I'm focused." He's like, you're like, "I know what I'm he's here like, for." You're caught in the show. <laughs> That's your fault. So this is the first peach. 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 First, hey, peach. Miss Peaches. Miss Peach. I love Miss Peaches. Shut up. Anyway, this is the first piece. The second piece, P. Give them a little. Give them one more thing. Well, I'll just put it up on the screen. Uh, or you can just not be lazy and give it to them. But you got a beautiful, beautiful black hoodie with a white puff print, YSK on the front with the stars, shooting for the stars, all that type of vibe. The beautiful color, your ass cracks out a little bit. A little bit of ass crack, I'm not going to lie, but they can't see it. Again, very large puff Feel print, it. YSK on the back. Feels Ooh. fantastic yeah. with the beautiful stars yeah. and the nice little colorway. I'm very excited about this merch drop. so soft. So soft. We, so Ryan soft. wore it to, uh, we went to go see Tom Segura. He wore it and he was like, he is you're like cozy. It was up. like a blanket. He yeah. was like this. It's 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 the best thing we've ever put out. Oh my god! It's I just can't wait for you. We to signed get it. a deal with the people. The, the people that make this make shirts for Travis Scott uh, mer merchandise for Travis Scott, Kanye Drake. Their merch is in um Pax uh Pax Sun. They've had a collab with Stussy. That's yeah. been in uh. What's the other one like Pax Sun? Uh, hot top, not not t not hot top. Zoomies. Uh, Zoomies. 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 Yeah. So fan. I mean. It's fantastic. Obviously, we love it. I hope y'all love it, and it is—it truly is the best thing we've ever. Yeah. Played. So March twenty-fifth, be ready. Have your have your have your alarm clocks clicking, because this is gonna—it's only hundred pieces of both, and then they're gone. And so. we will remind y'all throughout the week on the Instagrams, both in the caption below, PSH eight Cam Kennedy twenty-two, and you should know Pod, so you get more updates there. But enough about the merch. Did you? <laughs> what? How is that? How is that the first thing you ask me coming off of a merch promo? How is that the first thing you ask me? No, I didn't. What goes on in your head? <laughs> no, we can't talk about it. Good lord! I just wanted to break the ice. The you should know podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Harry's. Life can be ridiculous. That's a fact. But you know what's not funny, P? Uh, what? Getting ripped off. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. And our friends at Harry's, they agree. Uh, ooh. They saw customers getting screwed over by questionable overpriced shaving products and decided to do something better. Like what? Instead of charging the same stupid prices, Harry's found their own way to make beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of other big brands. Yeah, Harry's has exceptional products, honest prices, and that is Harry's. Harry sent over their trial set to us. I love Harry's. Not only is it aesthetic in the bathroom, but it's functional and it is affordable. Harry's has a lot of products like deodorant, lotion, body wash, hair gel, everything. It's high quality. It makes me feel confident. It makes my bathroom come together because it's not like those other shaving materials. It's like, that's sticking out like a sore thumb. Harry's packaging, everything is top tier. German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer. That is Harry's. Mm. Customizable delivery options for scheduled refills as low as $2. Wow. That is half of what you pay for some of the other big brands. That's a fact. Get a five blade razor, Woo. weighted handle, yes. foaming shaving gel, nice, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash YSK. Getting ripped off isn't Funny, switch to Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash YSK. That's harrys.com slash YSK for a $3 trial set. Now on to the rest of the episodes. The You Should Know Podcast. You said something. I say a lot of things. No, 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 but you said something that struck home with me. I like to strike you. Do you want to tell them what happened when we met Tom? Cause that is that is outrageous. So we got invited to the Tom Segura show. Fantastic show, by the way. One of the best comedians ever. God, one of funny. the funniest podcasters ever is him and Burt Kreischer do Two Bears One Cave, and so we have the same team, right? Basically, a, a bunch of people on our team, no, a bunch of people on his team. He did a show in Dallas. We went to American Airlines Center. They hooked us up with fantastic seats. Thank you, Travis and Grayson. Uh, yes, thank, thank you, you. WME. Thank you, Tom Segura. Uh, thank you, Ryan. So we we got there. We watched Tom Segura's show. Hilarious. Fantastic show. I watched You're a woman. Sick, man. I watched a woman spit on somebody. It was fantastic. We'll talk about that more later. After we got invited to the after party because he's promoting his new vodka. We go to this after party lounge, right? We're s sitting in the lounge. I kid you not. There's no more than 35 people in that lounge. Yeah, it's very intimate. Very, very good, intimate. very good vibes. Great vibes in American Airlines. A lot of cool people walking around. Tom Segura walks in. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I'm a big fan of him. Mm -hmm. We just watched the show. Yep. 
We wanted to meet him, right? Yeah, of course. As anyone should. As the night goes on, we get the opportunity to go up to talk to Tom. Yeah. Hey, Tom. I'm Peyton. Yeah. Cam. Yeah, I'm Cam. What's up? what's up, Tom? <laughs> Name's Cam. Tom's a nice guy. We're talking to Tom, right? Talking. As we're talking to Tom Segura, right? Shooting the <laughs> We are definitely shooting the sh <laughs> As we're talking to Tom Segura, I realize this is a crazy moment. We're talking to Tom Segura about the podcast, about his podcast, about our podcast. I'm starting to get in my head. As you know, I am an anxious freak. I am very nervous all the time, especially when I'm meeting like one of the, the, the goats in the game. Somebody who we look up to. And I'm like having an outer body experience. Now, definitely something out came of out of my body. It was definitely out of body experience. So I'm drinking his new vodka. It's, it's fantastic. It's very good. Very good. That's Por, a bad. Porosos. Por, porosos. Shout out to Porosos. Uh, we're drinking, right? Talking to Tom. Oh, yeah, we are. And it's a bad mix when Peyton gets alcohol and nerves in him because I start to lose control of my body. Now, I'm talking to Tom, right? I'm looking in Tom Segura's eyes, talking to him about business, about podcasting. <laughs> and I feel something in my gut. Something I can't control. And I kid you not, I'm like a foot away from this man. I am in his mouth. Oh, almost. it's very intimate. We're, I mean, we're, we're arm's length apart. Uh, like I could literally just extend my hand a little bit. Yeah. I'm on him now. Yeah. That's how close we are. As, as, as he's talking to me, I feel something in my gut it's rumble, rumble up, a little. And I feel it shoot down oh my towards God. my asshole. And I can't control it. And so, I open up. <laughs> I go. <laughs> now, luckily, there was music playing and a lot of people talking. So he didn't hear it. But he audibly saw me <laughs> go. Yeah. And, okay. And I've been around Peyton plenty of times. So he has the jump scare of like, oh, shit, I just farted. But he also has this face. It's like he's seen like a ghost. Like he's seen an ancestor, right? <laughs> so we're in the middle of talking. Oh, yeah, da da da. Oh, it was an amazing show. Love you so much. Oh, let's talk this, that, and the third. We're just, you know, talking, right? And all of a sudden, again, can't hear it, right? There's music, good vibes, and a nice little lounge. But all of a sudden, Peyton goes, and his, his, his lip does this quiver thing when he farts. He went, and I was like, oh my God, you just shat your pants. So me, this might be crazy, borderline disgusting, but I'm, I was actively trying to smell it to see if it was like a, an abort if, type of mission. If we have to leave the, yeah. the, this after party. So I was trying party. to put it on my, on my, on my scale of, yeah. of quakes, of earthquake scale, is that if it's a two, we can stay. Blame it on the guy next yeah. to us. If this is an eight or higher, you evacuate. I, Tom, it was a pleasure. I got to get him to a toilet, okay? So in the middle of speaking with Tom, I see this, <laughs> right? I see that. I'm like, oh God, he beavered. I just saw, he just did his beaver. So I go, yeah, so, uh, no, but yeah, we definitely did that, and and this is how we start. Oh no, I'm sorry. Just <clears throat> allergies. I'm actively trying to sniff out this fart, which I cannot believe I'm saying this. But the things I do for you, don't ever question my loyalty. Don't ever question me ever again. I'm sitting here, and I'm not picking up much. Maybe, maybe hell, maybe there was a sweaty guy next to us. I don't know. But the fart. It was very evident that it happened, but luckily, luckily, it luckily, didn't it wasn't. Sick. It wasn't an eight out of ten. We didn't have to abort. But I could see Tom. But hold your ass! Like we are having a fantastic conversation. We just sweat. We just crossed the threshold of like of of friend stuff, peer stuff, just talking fun and stuff. Now we're talking business, and you right. go, and you beavered, and I said, "There's no way." We're talking, getting to network with a goat, with with, a, with someone in one our the, field. That one is of the, the biggest comedians of all the, time. You're, you're still freaking out. One of the main. Relax, and he shits his pants. Yeah, so unbelievable. There's, so there's new. If there's never a two bears and you should know collab. That's then the that's reason. why. That's the reason why he fumbled. He fumbled his asshole. He fumbled the collab. It's his fault, not mine. Boo him. Boo this man. Boo. If I'd have, if I'd have. <laughs> Tomato, I throw it right at you. Okay, I don't think Tom knew I farted. I don't think he did either. But, oh, and God, if you see this, then I'm so sorry. But Tom Segura definitely knew something happened. Because yeah. I saw him look like... Because you beavered. You, he could have thought I had some... Yeah, a 
like, like a problem, a, like a muscle like spasm. Issue. <laughs> yeah, an issue is what normal but people thanks, call it. But thanks, Tom Segura, for hanging out with us. That was a really, fu- really fun time. It was. It was a fun show. It was hilarious, by the way. We'll talk uh, more about that on the extended. Whatnot, yeah. But so it was fantastic. Page. But go to Patreon. But yeah. So. I was I was reading the comments of last week's episode and when I was talking about having sixteen dogs named Titus, right? And I started. That's thinking, so dumb. You well, you're dumb. I wasn't gonna tell you that, but that's a dumb. lot of people agreed with me. A lot of people just said I was gonna pay too much for it, and I I just threw out a number just to talk, but I'm, I wouldn't pay thirteen thousand dollars a month for that. I can't afford that. Yeah. So. Can't you? <laughs> so, I was I, I was thinking about dogs recently. Okay. After I was reading those comments. God, I love Ruby. And a lot of people say this about dogs. They say dogs are good judges of character of people. They are. Dogs know this, like they, they bad person, bad good person, good person. person. They'll they'll stay away from a bad person. Maybe a little growl. Yeah. Good person, they're like, oh, lay on my back. I love you. Don't scratch my tummy. I don't know if that's true. That might be bullshit. I don't think it's because I had my dog loved my ex, and that. <laughs> That dog okay. loved her, but it was it and was, she was getting defiled behind my back. Stop, stop. But he doesn't. <laughs> your Malcolm can only judge what you brought into the house. Okay, so when she was in the house, you probably had good feelings for her as well. Your all, all a dog is is an extension of yourself, unless you didn't train it correctly. So if Max is tra- an attention. Uh, 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 unless attention? you didn't train it correctly, Ma- that's why Max is gone. I don't know Max anymore. See ya. Have a good life, buddy. But. No, he's he's still in the family. I still love that dog, but he he's way too active to be cooped up in an apartment. Uh, so we we did the better thing. Okay, for but him. but think about Ruby. Think about Ruby. Yeah, her anxiousness she gets that from her uncle. Now outside of that, everything else, her loving spirit, her will to cuddle, her her obedience, it all comes from. I thought her you were gonna say her obesity. Her obesity that comes from her dad probably. She sees me eat a lot, so she gets thinks she needs to eat a lot. But a dog is an extension of you. And your partner, but, if, you're in a, if you're in a relationship. But in the back of my head, I knew that the girl wasn't shit. But you, not at the beginning. That's what I'm saying. At the beginning, you were like, uh, you knew it at the beginning. That's pretty. You willingly put yourself in a in a Nazar situation. That seems to be the, the the spirit of my life. It's like I know this is gonna hurt at the end, but I'm enjoying it now. Th- that is, that's pessim. That's pessimism. Pes- <laughs> pes- pes- pessimism. What? Pessimistic, but pessimism. Like optimism? I don't think that's a word. Pessimism. Pessimism is it, isn't a word. I believe- is it the past tense of pa- pessimistic? Exactly. Like optimistic. You have op- you're having a hard time. Say slower. Optimistic. Yeah, if there you go. If you're optimistic, yeah. you are obtaining optimism. Right. Okay. If you are pessimistic, you have pessimism. All right. You know how... What's another pessimism. word for tall? Like how tall somebody is? Pessimism. What's another word for how tall somebody is? Giant? No, like... Large. No, like the, the technical... T- Did I do it again? Did I do it again? No, I, I said it good that time. Uh, okay, say it. Height. Why do I do? It's a G-H-T height. Is it height? Height. Height. Would you, height is never a word. I don't, I don't. It's never been a word. I don't, oh, wait. You want to talk about words? Yeah. Spell the word crooked. C-R-O-O-K-E-D. I, went, I, had, a, I had a scholarship in English. Is that right? Yeah. That's Cro- right? Crooked. C-R-O-O-K-E-D. Crooked. Crooked. Yeah. Okay. What's crooked about you? Spy? You want to talk about crooked? You're a Peyton's a crooked guy. <laughs> There's a lot of things about you that's that's crooked or crooked. <laughs> okay, what? Anytime you lay on anything crooked, you, I've never seen you laying. I've never seen you resemble a plank ever in your life. I can be pretty straight. Oh no, you can't. No, you can't. You do a lot of you do a lot of things that aren't straight. Hello, good morning to you. Your fingers are abnormally crooked. That's another I don't even thing. know if the camera can pick that up. Okay, I, I want everyone to take your two middle fingers and do that and just look at them, right? It should resemble this. Pretty pretty narrow, pretty straight. Peyton's shit is like, it's just like this. Badly crooked. Okay? No, I have bad fingers. Yeah, look at that. That's the second thing. Another thing that I have noticed. What? Your, your belongings are even crooked. What do you mean? There's not too many things that are just straight. Like when you fold a, if I were to fold a blanket and you fold a blanket, two different worlds. You would have thought you grew up in like anti-folding. If I fold a shirt and you fold a shirt, two different worlds. It's it's everything. But okay. there's so many things about you that aren't straight. That's not fair, because I never grew up folding clothes. We didn't. We're we're in a folding clothes family. What does that mean? That comes with privilege. 
<laughs> Folding a shirt? We had plastic hangers, well, wired you, hangers. You weren't a straight sleeping family either? You were all crooked in the bed? I, anytime this man- Why do you know my sleeping? Cause you're like this, anytime. You're, it's like your body, your body doesn't follow your feet. You're not in one, you're not, at, you're not in an aura. You're just like this. It, it's like Peter Griffin. Every time he falls in Family Guy, that's you. You you sleep like that. You're just. <laughs> I, I have scoliosis of the back. I believe I have some too. I think it's just because of our height. But you also have height and because of our what? Height. 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 You got a list. <laughs> no, I don't. I I just I don't know why I say height. Height. It's because of our height, and you also <laughs> broke your back. Bad allergies today. Are we recording at 9 a.m. again? The amount of goo I'm hearing on the inside of your body, and you just spit some. You just released the goo. Do we need to quarantine? You released the goo. You said it. You Not the initial. That's already disgusting enough. You sound like an orc leader. Like You sound like a, a, an actual uruk. <laughs> but then the inside is what I was picking yeah. up. Yeah. It was like... That's not my fault. That's the, dude, you and this not my fault shit. It's always someone. I have. It's I'm always, a, I, I never folded a shirt. Uh, it's not my fault. It's the grass outside. It's the wind and the pollen. I'm allergic to fault. grass. Every, and all no, that. no, you are not. Cedar. No, you're not. I'm allergic to cedar. No, you are not allergic to grass. Yes, I am. You are. Yes, not I am. Allergic to. Yes, I am because I had a hill by my old house and I would roll down the hill. Oh, you have a hill? All right, little house on the... You have a hill by your house. Why do you think the most normal shit is so abs obscure? Because you lived in a cul-de-sac. I said, buy my house. Oh, you just traveled, little gutter gang. You just travel to that hill just so you can get hives, you little creep. You, you like the, you, you, oh, oh God, you're not helping your kids. No, I used to try you, to break my arm. You called up gutter gang. You said, hey boys, I'm feeling hives today. And you would, you drive your little stupid bike out to that hill, roll around and be like, ah, 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 <laughs> And you liked it. You liked hives. Yeah, I definitely tried to break my arm at one point. Bro, I want it to be in a cast they're, so bad. They're, they're gonna they're gonna put you on a list, bro. I hope they're already on one. They're going to clip so many things of you saying these endangering, self-criminating thoughts. I wanted to break my arm. I'm yeah. allergic to grass. I liked the hives. Oh, you said anything, I like the hives. Oh, I didn't like that. And you didn't deny it. You didn't deny it. Once. No, I just I was allergic. I am allergic to grass because when you rolled around on grass, did you ever roll like log roll on grass as a kid? Did yes. You, okay. Did you itch afterwards? No. I did, all the time. That doesn't mean you're allergic. And I was allergic to cats. That means you can Absolutely. have soft, yes. weak bitch skin, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're allergic. What does that mean? We went to Zilker Park. Did it, I get on the grass? Yep. I got on the grass. I got on the grass at the park. You didn't sit. You didn't sit down once. Not my skin. My skin didn't touch the grass. My skin didn't touch the grass. <laughs> Welcome to episode 104, ladies and gentlemen, where Peyton has invisible legs. In, they're non-existent. I can sit and not touch the grass with my skin. Oh my god. I have basketball shorts on. That's the back of your ass. What else am I sitting on? Where were your legs? Like this. You sound like that? Yes! I almost choked you. I almost choked you out. Are you the sit police? I almost, I almost choked you. How did I sit? How did I sit? I sat like that. I can't sit like that. My back's not strong enough. <laughs> I can't sit like that. That's how I know you're lying. See, you're crooked. You're a crooked man. Okay, he has the forbidden drink as well, and it's 9 a.m. It's just, 9 a.m. like a just mug. Buckle up. Um, That's all I'm going to say. Buckle up, guys. The You Should Know Podcast. The You Should Know Podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp. Sometimes I like to sit back and think, if I had an extra hour every single day, what would I do with it? Would I go for a run? That's not my thing. Would I take a nap? I would probably take a nap, read a book, or show up for a friend. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? If time was unlimited, how would we use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do it more. Therapy is a beautiful thing and it's an important thing and it is a helpful thing. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. I feel like that's a big misconception. I think everybody could benefit from therapy, especially using BetterHelp. 
If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your personal schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. That's beautiful. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Mm -hmm. Visit BetterHelp.com slash YSK today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash YSK to get 10% off your first month. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. What were we talking Show about? Show me your fingers. <laughs> no, that's, that's a personal thing. Look at it. The fact that you could... Sp- <laughs> Show them from that angle. That's how bad. Look at the crookedness. Yeah. I'm it's, so sorry. It's, it's bad. That sucks. It's bad. I wasn't trying to make fun of you for it. Okay, I... But I did. You know, a lot of people... Like, in the podcast, we're in the entertainment world. When people do podcasts together, mm-hmm. a lot of them aren't, like, friends in real life. Like, they're friends, but, like, Correct. the level that we are friends. Correct. We talk all the time. We hang out all, all the, time. the time. Yes. <laughs> Can you read the people that took one of our messages? Actually, the message is from the other day. Can you read you want me? You want me to read those messages <laughs> yes, because on I, the episode? Because I want to show people, like... I'm only, it, I'm only giving you one more opportunity. Do you want me to read this? I've s- exposed so much about my okay. life. I don't care. Okay. Like, this is real life. Like, how we, me and Cam Tech. This is, there's no camera. No there's camera. There's no nothing. And I'm, read what time these were, too. Okay. Here, here are the messages right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. You'll, you'll, you'll get that image in a second. Here we go. <laughs> this is Sunday. <laughs> this is Sunday at noon. 12.05. <laughs> this is Sunday at noon. First Interaction, first word exchange of the day. He sends me a message and it simply says, want to see my ball sack? And I go, are you okay? He goes, my balloon knot? Question mark. I go, nah. He then takes time. He takes time to make an image. Of a plain white t-shirt with a balloon knot on it. A real balloon knot. Not, not a butt balloon not knot. Not a butt balloon knot. A real knot of a balloon. Takes time to make that and send it to my phone behind a blanket of invisible ink to where I'm, I'm, now, I'm now surprised. Okay? My response. If that shirt were to have a real balloon knot and actually be worn, you would deserve death. Okay? Just kind of letting him know where I stand. He then responds... Not enjoying your energy during this lovely morning, do? I will try again at dusk. <laughs> so I just send laughing faces, and I swear to God, this is all within four minutes, because this next message is at 12.09. Peyton goes, I farted butt naked on my gaming chair, and when I stood up, the seat was wet. What the f*** is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? So I send bro with eight to ten O's, right? (laughs) He then says, my fault. I'll try again later. Okay? A whole hour goes by. It's 135. He then responds, you in a better mood? And I go, what is wrong with you? He then sends three texts immediate, back to back. (sighs) Ready to appreciate me, love me, hold me. (laughs) And I'm nice, and I go, all of the above. He then demands me. He goes, say sorry. (laughs) Sorry for what? (laughs) I go, sorry? Nothing else. That's the end of the conversation. That's the end of the conversation. Can you explain yourself? (laughs) What, What cloud do you wake up on? You're, there is no cloud nine feet. You wake up on cloud 14. <laughs> okay. I have never once, I have never, ever woke up and immediately texted you or anyone else on my phone and say, want to see my ball sack? That is terrifying. I have an explanation for it all. Oh, I bet you do. That's real lonely. You're the only person I talk to. Okay. And so I, I'm I, here for you I, so far. I woke up butt naked. I went to sleep with clothes on. So it was a confusing morning for me. It was a real confusing morning. When I woke up and I took the covers off, they were attached to my thigh because it was hot in my room. And so I said, somebody else has to see this skin. Even your 
Room temp is crooked. Like you don't you don't even you went to sleep clothed and woke up naked hot with sheets stuck to your skin. No, not the sheets. My, my, my manhood was t stuck to my thigh. And so when I saw that, I said, somebody has to see this. And you're the only person I talked to, so I hit you at noon on a Sunday and asked if you wanted to be a part of this this festivity. Wow. <laughs> This whole time, I thought it was the sheets that was stuck to you. Oh, no, it was me. It was your nutsack that was stuck to your inner thigh. You get that sometimes. I don't ever share it. And I'm, my house is never hot enough. I keep it nice and cold. And then uh, the gaming chair, I, th the better part about that is I didn't send you the picture because I took one. I took a picture of it. I deleted it because it is gross, but I had it. And I was gonna send it to you, but you I want I want y'all to picture this. I want I want you to picture this. You went to sleep yeah. with clothes on, woke up butt ass naked, nutsack connected to your leg. Yeah. Okay. If that wasn't enough, you actually stood up and walked down two stories of stairs, butt ass naked, knowing you have a glorious amount of windows, and you go sit in your office. Still butt naked and turn on a computer? How do you operate? That's freedom. some truth or dare shit. It's freedom. Freedom. Well, I was I left my clothes. You have uh, you have you have a remarkable amount of confidence. It is it's almost detrimental. Like that could be bad. That could be bad. Why? Say we get to the point here in a couple years, five, six years yeah, down the line, you're yeah. in a new house, actual home, right? Yeah. You, you love it. Yeah. You give me a key. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm your, I'm just, I'm your, your day one, yeah. right? I, if I ever need to let your pet out, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Say I use that key that morning. Yeah. You'd make eye contact. Hey, with where you? <laughs> hey, where you at? In the office. Oh, you'd be a sick. You would definitely just say, "Oh, I'm over here. Come here." You'd swivel your chair and be like, "I'm right here." And you wouldn't warn me nothing. Say I have my wife and kids with me. Uncle P, ah! <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it with your kids around. You and your wife, I don't care. I FaceTimed y'all the other day. Oh my God, I have those images. Oh my God, I have those images. You screenshot it? Oh my God, I screenshot it six times. You're a, you're a f***ing liar. Oh Show my, me. Oh my God, I have the images. So I, I FaceTime Cam when I get the zoomies at night. <laughs> and most of the time I don't have clothes on. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. No, that can't go on the internet. <laughs> so the first <laughs> That song looks crazy. <laughs> Let me see. That one looks insane. <laughs> I'm so lost. That looks absolutely wild. Okay, so I FaceTime Cam. Let's break down this FaceTime call. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you screenshot that, you freak? <laughs> I'm the freak. Why are you doing it? So I FaceTimed Cam. I was in my office. A lot. I'm oh. weird in my office. I don't know what goes on in there. Oh, shit. I FaceTimed Cam. Oh. And a lot of the time, I have the least amount of clothes I can have on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Explain. I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do yesterday? <laughs> this this man doesn't do his laundry. So yesterday. I'm so sorry, y'all. This is mind boggling. I'm just happy I, I remembered it yesterday. Oh shit, it's hot now. We go to the gym. We come back, get food, everything. We go pick something up, right? We both shower in our own homes. He calls me. <laughs> he calls me with like dinner, date night, like Pablo Escobar pants on. I go, beach pants. I go, where the hell are you going? He goes, haven't done my laundry in four weeks. It's the only thing I had clean. I look at the upper half. It is an extra small season one you should know shirt. What the hell are you wearing? He's um, just picture that like Pablo Escobar, like flowy beach pants, no socks, no shoes. And he wears two X. He wears an extra large two X. He's wearing an extra small. Think about that for a second. <laughs> Create that image. I was, I was flabbergasted. I was like, "What are? You, who are you? Who are you?" I called Guag, and she said, "I look like an Uber driver." <laughs> Continue. So I don't do my laundry because I don't like it. Like it, it, it generally gives me back pains. It annoys oh me. Oh my god, no! It hurts my back too. It hurts. It's uh, it low. Hurts my back too. That's it's kind of like the my my Kroger story. 
when I was saying like how I was bagging for 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh, those comments still piss me off. 30 minutes and you wanted a break? I'm not talking about a break from the job. I'm saying I just wanted to stand up. <laughs> anyway, that's hurt. That's haunted me for this long time. But bro, I get that too. Like when you switch from the washer to the yeah, dryer. Yeah, I hate it. Oh my God. I hate it. And then now I air. And when you do dit Well, you don't do dishes. I don't do dishes. I don't, I don't have dishes. dishes. When I, yeah, you literally don't. He has knives. That's it. He just has knives and shot glasses. That's, that's your that's your dishes. You have a singular plate, 19 <laughs> blades, and eight shot glasses for a single man. That's what you have. It, it is. You live a wicked life. Oh no, I don't God. do laundry because it, it, it takes too long. I have to air dry my clothes. I do too. I have. I, I, I still have my Tampa clothes in the suitcase. You, can I, t- can yeah, I tell them? That? I go to his house. What was that? Three days ago? Yeah. He... In his second story, it's like the living room, the kitchen, the 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 living room story. is what the it's called. The living room story. The living room. But, but I'm saying it's a whole story. Oh, okay. Yeah. This man has piles. <laughs> he has a big ass pile: clothes, shoes, bracelets, <laughs> anything you can imagine, trash, all one pile right there. I the turn floor. slowly. There's another pile that looks just like it, and I go. You're not serious, are you? He's like, what are you talking about? I said, are you alive? Are you okay, well in thought? He goes, yeah. I go, that's your Tampa suitcase. That's your Austin suitcase. Why are they in your living room floor? There's, I'm talking like dirty, sweaty draws. Like, uh, yeah. like but there is, there's something in your lip. There's something on your mustache. I need you to remove it. I need you to remove it. It looks like old chewing gum. It's it's over here. It ne- no, you need to get rid of it. It's still there. You got it. Okay. Holy shit. That was oh, it made it's me itch. Cream. It made me itch. Two massive piles, right? So I'm looking around. There's shit everywhere, per usual. But there's I'm talking like we went on two business trips. He hasn't put any of it in a dirty hamper. No. Nothing. It's just <laughs> it's on the there. floor. So I go, "Bro, at least just throw it in this closet." I open his closet. He has a cardboard closet. <laughs> there was a full closet, like a massive closet. Full of cardboard. Just random ass box. There's an air fryer box, TV box, random shit. But there's a Spotify box. Just random ass cardboard boxes. I'm like, yeah, are you moving? You building forts? What's going? Why do you have so much cardboard? It's because I, d- I don't plan on living there forever. So whenever I move out, I have to pack the stuff back up. So I have a cardboard box room. You have a cardboard box closet in a dirty ass living room. Uh, there, oh. I, that remind, I don't. It doesn't remind me, but I, a story just popped up in my brain about OT Genesis. <laughs> you know who OT Genesis is? The rapper. Push it, push it, push it, push it. That guy. Yes, I know. I'm in love with the co- oh, that guy. Yeah, no, I I know who OT Genesis yeah, is. I think a, everyone knows him from eight years ago. Yeah, and if, how does that make how? I can't. I, I can't. I, just go. Just I thought go. OT Genesis was gonna beat my ass one time. <laughs> I swear to God, it's a true story. And I reminded me because it's South by Southwest time. And I went to South by Southwest. So if you know anything about OT Genesis, he's he's real life, like, about it. You know what I mean? Like, he's certified, right? So there's always a little respect and fear that comes with OT Genesis. So I went to a concert at South by Southwest when I was, like, 17, 18. And OT Genesis was opening up for Meek Mill. It's crazy times. Ew. And so I remember I was dead in the middle of the crowd. Of course you were. Dead in the middle. Of course you were. Standing up. It was a standing room only type of thing. So you just stood up. It was kind of a small venue. Yeah. So he could see me. I was the tallest one there. And I'm in the middle. And he was singing Push It. Right? And I'm awkward in public. Especially I'm the tallest one in the concert because I'm getting yelled at from behind. They're like, move big ass. Can't I can't see. see. And yeah. it's like, it's not my fault. Yeah. And then there you go again. I feel like everybody can That's look. That's literally your fault. That it's your human being that is blocking their vision. <laughs> it can't be anyone else's And fault. then I don't like to dance because I feel like people are looking at me. I'm already the tall one, so I didn't want to dance. So everybody was turning up to OT Genesis, right? Like going crazy. And I was there like this. Literally my hands are in my pocket because I don't know what to do with my hands in public. And I was going like this. Just nodding my head looking at him, right? And I could see him looking at me. I could see where this is going. He was looking at me for a lot of the show, like glancing at me. And he and then as the show went on, each glance got a little angrier and a little longer. And so push it came on. The whole crowd was turning up. I was serving mommy by the street, trying to sit him by the seat. Mama tried to keep me home. And so everybody was like, but I love him. Streets, and I was, and I was enjoying it in my mind, but outside I was hands in the pocket, little smirk, and nodding my head. I love those 
Three. The whole hook in second verse, he was making dead eye contact with me and making his way to the edge of the stage. Oh, my going, God. Push it, push it, push. And I was just like, and with the girl I was with, I was like, I think we got to go. <laughs> and then the people behind him start to, like, look at him and, like, look at me. And I was like, I, I promise you. <laughs> I have no agenda. You said, you said, excuse me, Mr. Genesis. I'm having a fantastic time up here. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a two pocket guy, dual pocket guy. <laughs> and then, fast forward to another South by Southwest. You were there. We went to a future concert on Sixth Street. Someone got murked outside of it. That was a wild time. But one of the people on Future's team from a top balcony threw a water bottle at my head. <laughs> you, you suck at concerts. And I looked up at him. And he started throwing all kinds of shit at me. You, you gave him crooked ones back, he said. He was throwing all kinds of... And I said, I think you got the wrong guy. I have no problem. I love Future. I'm he like, said, King Hendrix. And yeah, so so many Future stream tried to beat my ass. OT Genesis didn't like me. The streets just don't like you. Like, Pretty cool guy. God, I just am quiet and okay, weird. But, but it, it, does this give... I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Or... Go get the money. Go get the money. Go get the money. Go get the money. It's not my fault. It's you. You have blamed things on anyone but you. For, don't ever do that again. Don't you ever do that again. I'm having a hard time. You just double picked your ears and rolled your eyes <laughs> in the back of the head. I love a good. You look like a sick little pug when you did that. I bet you do. Yeah, so I, I try to avoid ah. going to concerts unless I know the people now. Because oh I don't want any misinterpretation of my actions you and remember, my awkwardness. You remember Jambalaya? What happened to Jambalaya? We were like 30 feet away from getting in a mosh pit and neither one of us were ready. What happened? You get explain the story. It was Ski Mask. We were, we were, so we went to Jambalaya and it was one of the years, in they did it in Austin, but they had two stages instead yeah. of just one. So it was like... It's a music festival, a rap music festival. It's a rap music festival. So it was like... Ski Mask, the Slump God's gonna be here in an hour. Yeah. The Trippy Red's gonna be here in an hour 30. So yeah. it's like you had to pick your poison. Yeah. So we went, we really wanted to see Trippy. Yeah. So we it was the height of Trippy Red. But it was like waiting. So we were like, bro, let's just go to the back of Ski Mask stuff, enjoy his vibe to where we can just dip out and still be in Trippy's mm -hmm. audience. We go to the back and literally, I th honestly, I think you are a bad omen. It's like a <laughs> curse when you're at rap stuff. Because of, there's a literally, y'all can look up images if you want. There is, Thousands of like thousands yeah, it's of a huge festival, huge, and of all places of Ski Mask the Slump Gods. Who, if you don't know him, look up his songs and it's just like raging, like screaming rap. Of all places that a mosh pit breaks out, it's like thirty feet away <laughs> yeah. from us. And me and Peyton turn and look to each other. We're like, I'm not physically, mentally, or verbally ready for this to happen <laughs> right now. And pe people are doing, people are sitting there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, you hungry? I was like, I could use a hot dog, bro. Let's just go get some trippy. It was wild, bro. Like that reminds me. I got burnt to like. You look like a lobster. A I remember that. I got lifted up at uh, Astro World by strangers. <laughs> I remember that. Now I do have a bad time at music festivals. I went to Astro World, which is Travis <laughs> Scott's festival. What? I'm sorry. Go keep going. And so I went alone to Astro World because I had nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotten broken up with. And I lived in Houston, so I was like, okay, perfect. I can just go here alone. And so I'm at Astroworld by myself, right? Uh, Playboy Cardi comes out. I was so scared. Oh, yeah. Because the, a siren comes on, and his DJ goes, if you're f***ing scared, get out! And I said, that's me. I'm scared. So where's the exit? Where? I need lights. And then, like, 18 guys. I don't know if they're on payroll with Playboy Cardi or they're just fans. I don't know if this is like a, a union type of thing. <laughs> I don't know how this is they working. Get benefits on yeah. the back end. I don't know what's going on. They come out with these bulletproof vests in the crowd. They're shirtless under them and their faces are painted. And they're going through the crowd and they're like, move! And they're going through and they're like, the mosh pit police. And I said, what the f <laughs> I said, oh God, no. So there's a small squadron of scary men. And then there's a bunch of 13-year-old mm, kids that look like you. <laughs> And they're like so sweaty, oh, yeah. so, so smelly, much acne. and they're so angry and having For, a good time. Nothing, nothing. And they're like, let's go! And I was like, please, God, <laughs> get me out. Of Where here. I was moving, I had no control. I was, whoo, whoo, and I was like, and then Playboy Cardi comes out. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, I just left Houston. Dun, I just left Earth. Dun, and I said, dun, no, God. Dun, I said, I'm about to leave Earth. This is going to be my yeah, last day. This is my, I'm dying right here. I swear to God, four and a half minutes into his set, I'm starting to. Levitate, and I'm like, 
I didn't come here with anybody. I don't know anybody here. <laughs> Who's grabbing my shit? And I was like, why are my feet not, not the- touching earth anymore? I am getting my six, seven ass is getting, is getting vaulted. I am, I'm crowd surfing by ninth graders. <laughs> <laughs> and I have not, I would like, and everybody's recording like, Oh, that's so dope. I'm give me the f- down. Put me down. Put me down now. I have a law firm. I got a team. You don't want to f- with me. Put me down. That's you. And there's 13 year olds. I'm surprised one didn't go. <laughs> just shake you. I, I would've, that would have been funny. No, like, yeah, that, that would have been awful. That was an embarrassing time. Bro, and then at Joe Budden. I know it wasn't a client, but oh, still, yeah. you and Joe Budden said Jamal Murray. Yeah, Joe Budden called me Jamal Murray for four hours straight. I paid for $100 you for a meet and greet. You just can't be a normal person in these public settings. Bro, God. In the meet and greet it picture? Ma- it, it makes for great, great stories but i have an i have a, a embarrassing story at the at a phoenix suns thing i went to <laughs> remember that a long time ago you did go to phoenix i went to phoenix because I, I was doing a, a app partnership with the phoenix suns and uh, this one app that was partnered with them and i was working it right and so they took us to phoenix and that's the story i got kicked out of the casino yeah yeah yeah. Uh, uh, go back a couple like uh, not a couple, a couple like 40, 40 50 episodes, episodes. <laughs> So we, I never told this story because it's one of those moments you ever laying in bed and you think about something and you automatically get hives and you're like, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. Yes. I happens to me regularly and it happened to me last night and now I'm going to tell the story. And this happened in Phoenix. This happened in Phoenix. And you've right? never told me this. Never told you. Like oh dead my, ass, I've never oh told you this. God. It's so embarrassing. Oh my God. So <laughs> we go to the Phoenix Suns arena, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's in there. The team just had practice. So I'm walking I'm, I'm walking through the tunnel, right? We get special access because we're working there. All the fans and shit are in the crowd, and there's a couple people on the it's like It's like game time? Like a game night? No, no, it's not a game night, but oh, it's okay, like right. it's a part like this event. Like the Phoenix Suns are a part gotcha. of it. You get to meet some of the players, all that gotcha. shit, whatever. And I was just working it. What's up, book? <laughs> I saw, uh, I met, uh, who's Nate, Nate Robinson. I met Nate Robinson. Ray Robinson there, was there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Kelly, that was a minute ago. Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre. He's one He's of the most attractive men I've yeah. ever seen in my life. I was He's like, Jesus Christ, I get it. And so I, I, I was in the tunnel, right? And I was walking, everybody was walking past Devin Booker, all these cool, attractive, rich people. And I was like, cool, cool. I was playing the cool Nate Robinson walking by. I just didn't say hi to anybody. I was just, I was there for work. Mm-hmm. Now the app I was with said, hey, we're about to do this thing on the court. We're going to go out on the court and we're going to run this drill to promote the app. And you're going to track the points through the app. And it's going to show everybody in the crowd how cool the app is. And we're bringing kids down from the arena and they're going to do it. This little cone <laughs> drill. Oh, oh, God. So I was like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. I've, I don't, this is before the podcast. Like, I'm anything. in denim in 550. Yeah, <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like, I'm not good in front of crowds. I, I, I don't want to do this. And they're like, we only hired three people. You have to be on the thing. <laughs> and so I was like, shit. We go out through the tunnel. We're onto the hardwood. The lights are so bright, so bright. I'm like, oh my god! I'm this sweating. is in the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix like arena? Suns Arena. I have videos of this. Phoenix Suns Arena, and now they have. Sick. You, you, you ever been to an NBA game and they have the like the announcer, the, guy the master the of ceremonies yeah. or whatever, like the hype guy, the hype like, guy that uh, walks around, walks around with the crowd. mascot and yeah. shit, and he's like, oh, we got. Something. They're on the court and they're like narrating the drill. What's happening? They're okay. explaining the drill, right? Now at this point. I only, I knew that there was a hard cam somewhere. There was a camera on this person that mm-hmm. follows them around so they could play on the Jumbotron, right? There's like 8,000 people in this arena. So many people. It was packed. It was loud and I was scared. And so there's this woman. She was so pretty. And she was the announcer. She's walking around with the microphone. And she's looking at me the whole time, right? And like, I... She could see that I am panicked. She yeah, knew it. Visibly uncomfortable. And so I'm like going around doing the app. I'm trying to rebound for the kids doing the drills. Like they have to dribble the full length of the court. And I got to count it. I'm fumbling their shit. I'm tripping little kids. It was horrible. Right? So there's the win. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so there's the winner of the, the thing. The, the drill. Uh, of the drill. The lady on the announcer, she's on the Jumbotron, right? There's cameras. All right. I didn't see a camera on the court. So I was like, who is she talking to? Mm-hmm. But she's looking up. In the, in the arena, because there's that camera the hunt, in the middle yeah. of the arena that plays on the Jumbotron. So and scared. she goes, all the winners, come to the middle of the court. But the guy that's running the app says, go with them, because we're all wearing the shirts. And it's like, I want the shirt to be next to the winner. He picks me. <laughs> he says, go next to him. And so I was panicking. I walk to the middle of the court. And say the lady is at the middle of the court right here, looking okay. towards this camera that I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> Instead of going behind her, 
past going beside her. I go right in front of her and I'm looking directly at her. So my back is to the camera and it is taking up the whole jumbotron. Uh, and I'm looking at her like this. I'm like, like listening to her talk. Like she's on a microphone just to talk to me. I'm like this. Yeah, it was, I, it was she, good she goes, and she's like doing her piano. Like trying like, to get you to move. And she like grabs me and moves me to the side. And when I turn around and look and see 7,000 people looking at me and then that big red light on that camera, I'm like, <sighs> and then whenever uh, her segment ends, the camera turns off and she looks at me, she goes, she just shakes her head. She was so disappointed. It was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I could imagine you. Well, hey, what if she was like this too? What if you were so like you were so messed up anxiously yeah. that you were trying to just really like lock in on her, and she's like, "Yeah, so the drill," and you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> "You start like bobbing with her." She's like, "So like, this drill, this app that we're partnering with you, like, what are you do? Oh, come here! <laughs> like you, you, you're blocking her, and your eyes, you're, they're just getting bigger and shit." Oh Damn. my God, Peyton, no. It's no, something is wrong in the tummy area. I don't feel well. No, you, you just farted again. <laughs> by the way, you just I've had bad poop syndrome. You, you're like that kid from Charlie Brown. That little yeah. that dust cloud follows yeah, you. I feel like something's leaking every time. My ears, my Bro, nose, okay, my eyes. It's, I know we've talked about this a lot. It's your diet is bad. Like you need to understand this. I've been doing a lot better. Your or, no, you. No, I've been doing a lot better. Your organs are fine. They're finally <laughs> crippling. Like they're getting to the last little bit they have. They're all just. Why you say finally? Like you've been waiting on the moment. Like he's dying. You, you, <laughs> don't, you do not eat well. I, we have all been telling you. I've been doing a lot all better. All of your loved ones. No, you you don't eat vegetables. You don't eat fruit. I, no, no, no. Eat, I do eat vegetables. I do eat vegetables. I swear to God, I do. You eat vegetables. I have not. I can't even. I cannot even generate a picture of you eating a salad uh, eating anything to do with vegetables my corn intake has always been phenomenal I've, I've, I've i am astonished like i astonish people how much corn i eat i, I will corn, up a cob your your corn intake I, i'm the corn kid and you think you're eating vegetables i've always loved corn you're eating corn you're not eating vegetables you're eating corn you do this on purpose. Corn. You do this on purpose. I said you don't eat fruits. I said you don't eat vegetables. And I, I said, said corn. And shit. I said corn. Corn is not a vegetable. Holy you're shit. Not Holy shit. Holy you're not shit. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Be, you can't no, be because after the whole internet killed me. No. After the whole internet killed me over fruits, you're numb vegetables, to the world. and fishes and animals. After the whole internet killed me over fish and animals, I've done research. I've been trying to do better. <laughs> but the chipotle, but <laughs> corn is not a vegetable. Okay. Let's break this down for you. Oh Smart God. guy. Oh my God. Nutritionist. Let's break it down. I'm more of a nutritionist than you. What's the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? Fruits have seeds. Point blank period. Does corn have seeds? No. Oops! Step one. Payton wins. Cam loses. Corn, corn has kernel. Kernel of corn. Is that a seed? It's not It's not, not seed. It's in its own category. It's Why not a vegetable. Why do you argue to just argue? Does I'm, it have a seed? Bro. Does it have a seed, yes or no? You need to read an encyclopedia. Don't own those. It does not have a seed. Okay. Do vegetables have seeds? Yes. No. I meant yeah, no. Exactly. I meant no. Okay. I meant no. No, they don't. Where do vegetables come from? It's in a different category. Where do vegetables come from? What, 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 what am I supposed to say? Guatemala? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? We're we talking imports, exports? No, where, where do, do they come from on the earth? The ground. Okay. Soil. Where does corn come from? It's grown in the ground. You in think the soil. You think I, I've smoked you. you. Think, I finally you got one. You think you're breadcrumbing me? Corn is not a vet. It is in a different category. What corn is, it? Corn is, is it? like barley and wheat. It's, it's like a oat. Almost. Corn is bread. Co corn is closer to bread than a vegetable? Yeah. It's close. It's it's definitely closer. What the f is wrong with you? What is wrong? It's name name three vegetables right now. Lettuce. Okay. Tomatoes. Okay. Corn. <laughs> nope. Nope. Name name three other widely accepted. Lettuce. Broccoli. Tomato. Broccoli. Okay. Yeah. Lettuce. Green. Tomatoes. Start green. Broccoli. Green. What color is corn? That's not the strongest of arguments. That's a bad argument because bananas start green. And bananas are fruits. Exactly. So is corn a fruit now? No, I'm, I was I was negating your argument, and I'm negating yours by saying just because that. Oh, that was bad. But yeah, just it's not. It's what in is its it? Own, do you want me to tell you? Yes. So you really don't know. I swear to God, well, I, I think I do. It's in its own. It is a. It's like a grain. Corn is a grain. It's it's not a vegetable. You Quaker Oats bitch. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a grain. I mean oatmeal. What the f are you talking about? It's a grain. Corn, because at the base, there's so much corn. It can be mauled down to corn mill. It can be used in corn products, corn starch. It is a grain. It's not a vegetable. It's not like lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, zucchini. 
cucumber. It's 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 a grain. Why it's not <laughs> sigh. It's not Help me. green, leafy. It's not it's not vegetable. There's there's almost zero nutrients. See, that's the shit I don't. Every get. other vegetable you eat dissolves. Corn you poop it out the same way. I did poop in the tub with my brother when I was like two years old and I pooped corn on his kneecap. <laughs> you pooped corn on your brother's limbs? Yeah, we used to bathe together as kids. You know, like, you know, your parents put you in the tub together. It's bath time, and you, you're a little, like, three-year-old self. Yeah, okay. Well, my sister's 14 when I was born, so, <laughs> so that'd be a little I don't, strange. Think, I don't think we're having bath times quite much. But, and my brother was 11, so it just wasn't happening. Maybe they shared that, but not me. Corn you never is got sibling not baths. a vegetable. It's not a vegetable. That's why you're so bitter. You never got sibling baths. I never had sibling baths. That's why I'm a bitter man. You just... Corn is a Swiss I, I army knife. I can't explain why I know these things, but I feel as if other humans should. I'm not arguing with you that you're wrong, because the more I think about it, corn is a diverse subject. It is a de it's a jack of all trades. Because you can iron some clothes with corn. You can do any and everything with corn. You can put corn to work. <laughs> iron some clothes, make a meal. Hell, you can you could enjoy a movie. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Yes or no? This is disgusting. And it's poop talk again. Yeah. Could you survive on one can of corn for your whole life? Why? Well, explain that to me. You eat the corn, you poop it out. You wash the poop, you eat the corn. <laughs> what the f is wrong with it you? It doesn't dissolve. Would you do that? It if you're oh, hell no. Hell no. I would chew my own arm off the bone before I ate recycled poo corn. Oh, this, and this kind of brings me back to our would you rather days. I want to do you, one. You, know you want to do good, one? You know I'm good for a would you okay, rather. Okay, okay. This is one I saw a while ago, but I got away from the would you rathers because I, I hate arguing with you and I'm trying to show you more love. Yeah, please. <laughs> thank you. Oh my God! And you gas. I don't gas anything. You gaslight me like a son of a. Read bitch. all the comments. You gaslight me. You are the. You are the ignition. You. You are the master of lanterns. Master. You are Thomas Jefferson or Benjamin Franklin. Whoever. The, whoever made that. You're him. You are the king of lanterns. Okay. You design lanterns and light them. We'll see above how you behave. We'll see how you behave. Behave. Now I'm a pet. <laughs> see you behave. You let me put a collar on you one time. No, I did not. Yes, you did. That was secrecy. <laughs> Just, I never wore a <gasps> Okay. Don't you clip though. Would you rather, okay. at one point of the day, random times every day, it's never consistent. At one, would you rather, at one point of the day, at a random time every day, your clothes automatically dissolve off your body? <laughs> Jesus. Do I ever get them back? Are they just gone forever? No, you got to go put on some new clothes. You got to go find some clothes. That's to put not on. my question. Do I get to retain the shirt I had? Like, is it gone forever, or is it like? I don't think that matters. Is you, it like? You, you, oh, it matters. You to frugal me. freak. No, it matters. It matters to me. It you're does. You're so frugal. I am. <laughs> you have public indecency, and you're worried about. Do I get the clothes back? Because I'll never wear my good garments. <laughs> I'll wear. I'll wear plain white. Hands. Sure, you get them back. Oh. They they pop up in your closet randomly. Okay, nice. So, uh, would you rather at wow. one random point of the day your clothes evaporate off your body at a random point every day? Okay. Or would you rather every time you buy underwear or a toothbrush, it's used? Oh, that's so hard. For I don't think it's that hard personally, but that's disgusting on the back end. You don't think it's hard? I know. I know what I would choose. The fact that you are confident in any of these answers is concerning. I know what I would choose. One hundred percent naked. My clothes can disappear. One hundred percent. Are you nuts, Cam? You're gonna use a used toothbrush. I want you to think about what you just said. Okay. A used toothbrush. Okay. How often? Used underwear. That's fine. That could be a cesspool. Okay. And you're just going to put it over your big giblets. <laughs> you're you're going to use someone else's PPD. There's, there's post-penile drip in that underwear. And you have to just put it on your manhood. Just just go in there and cup it up. Give it a nice wet Okay, blanket. let's think about this. Let's think about my life as Peyton Harden. Okay. How often do I brush my teeth? <laughs> Probably not as much as you. Once a month, right? I give that one good scrub once I start feeling pain. That's that's my benchmark for brushing my teeth. Once I start feeling pain, whenever I breathe in, it's time to brush. That is underwear. That is despicable. How often do I change my underwear? You don't wear it often. Exactly. Place, but okay, so that makes it easy for you because you already live like a caveman. Okay. You are already a cave dweller. Okay, but think about your life, Cam. You want to have kids in the future, right? Yes. You're making this weird. <laughs> you drive your kids off to school. How long is this curse? Is it with me for the rest of my life? Yeah. Both of them are with the rest of your life. Imagine, 8 a.m., you're dropping little Cam off to school. Oh, God. Have a good day. <laughs> good look down. You can't go within 100 feet of a school ever again in your life. I might go to jail. I'm going to stay in the car. You can't I'll go to any other choir recitals. Liv, Liv will drop the kids off. Oh, you don't. You never get the magic of taking your kids to school. Liv will drop them you off. You never get to go to one of your kids' basketball games. I'll, oh, I'll be in the back. I'll be in the... I will be... You know the part where the bleachers connect to the wall? That's where I'd be. I'd be like... I'd be creeping. 
Okay, but I'm not, you're over here talking about jail and stuff. I'd have it in writing. i say, hey, I don't know what happened to me. I, I, once every 24 hours, I get butt-ass naked. I can't really explain it. It's not the best thing. And you think they're going to make know an exception for you? I know it's not advantageous. I'll try to wear a couple extra coats. It still doesn't work, okay? I got a good cup system going on. You are using another uh, human's toothbrush. Kim. I wouldn't even use my wife's toothbrush. In college, I used to use your toothbrush. No, you didn't. You didn't know that. You used my toothbrush. I swear to God, no bullshit. I've used your toothbrush since college. We were close. Not that close. Not close enough. I thought you knew that. You used my toothbrush. Don't act like you're holier than thou. You used to share deodorants. Okay, King James, King Charles version, holier than thou? Where about thou are you? Who'd you just turn into? We didn't, we didn't share deodorants. That's, huh. that's different. It's the same shit. That is nowhere near. And when I shared your crusty ass deodorant, because I used more than you and I ran out, I took a paper towel. What did I do? Took You'd a paper wipe towel, it. wipe it off, use it, rewipe it, and give it back Cam. to you. How many pairs of underwear? You used my toothbrush. There's no wiping a toothbrush. Rinse it under some warm water for 10 minutes. It's clean. You used a toothbrush. Cam, Cam, you act like you're- That explains it. You act like you're better than everybody. Cam, how many pairs of underwear that you bought that you used are at my house that I regularly use still? That's because we're close and I washed them before. They weren't given to you used. I didn't take them off and go, eh. Oh, here you go. No. Have I returned? To, I've returned them like that to you've you. You've returned half. You've only returned half. You've kept majority. And when I do return them to you, are they washed? No, but I, I wash don't. them. Okay. The question is that you, every pair of underwear you wear yeah. has to be used. Yeah. I don't care. Every time you brush your teeth on someone else's toothbrush, that is, that is a foul that I can't even put to. Okay, I don't want to live my life worried about if I'm going to church on Sunday, Deacon calls me up and I'm, I'm butt-ass naked. He sees everything. You're going to have to do a lot from online. I'm not going to lie. I'm swinging through the congregation. Oh. What do you mean? The offering plate's got a little something extra in it this time. What do you mean? Who wants that? You got a first-class ticket. You know what I mean? I'm going to, I, I got a court date for a speeding ticket. I'm going to prison now. Okay. I might have to do a double cup action and explain to a judge, have fun with George Washington Carver breath. Have fun with wood teeth. Already wooden mouth. Okay. Easy, easy way to get out of it. Veneers. I get veneers. Easy way to get out of it. I live my life from the house. Doesn't sound that fun. Exactly. You don't want <laughs> to live like that. You like going out. You like hanging out with people. I also, one of my toxic traits is I also feel that I could find the pattern and I could feel when I'm about to get undressed. No, it's random. Can I at you least don't get know. that? Can I get a one minute warning timer? No. Random. One minute warning. No. Work with me. See, no, you can't change it because you know you picked the wrong option. Work with me. No. It's so supposed it's to be hard. Random. random. I could be kissing Mima on the forehead. I love Mima. <laughs> Butt ass naked. You're, okay. You want your hat. <laughs> Sorry. Your teeth are going to match your hat. Kim. Think about that. Kim, my toothbrushes, I can go get the best toothbrush ever right now. My teeth still are gross. <laughs> you think I give a shit about dental hygiene? Cam, Cam, look. Oh, that's good. where we're different. Look, I love teeth. There's and there's ways to get out of it. You free ball the rest of your life. Cool. You don't wear underwear. You just, you might get a nutsack caught in a zipper on you some jeans. You might get a nutsack in a zipper, a couple ball hairs ripped out. Who cares? Some denim. Take some pain and Ugh. just live your life with mouthwash. That is foul. Mouthwash covers you brushing your teeth. You don't have to brush your teeth if you use mouthwash and floss. I knew something was wrong with you. You think mouthwash covers brushing? Bro, I flossed yes last night for the first time in like half a year. It you would have like thought Vietnam. somebody shot me in my mouth. <laughs> you would have thought somebody. Mike it Tyson looked like just the, went, It <laughs> looked like the beach in Normandy. I know it did. Oh God, you don't floss. You would have thought Mike Tyson hit me with an uppercut. You don't floss like regularly. No, I've never been a good flosser. You know how often they say you're supposed to floss? How often? Six times a day. He, and also, I'm kidding, I'm I was about kidding, to say, I'm kidding, I was about I'm to kidding. get real mad. I'm kidding. Once. You're supposed to brush twice, floss once. I don't like that. But it, it really is a real thing, though. Massive chunks of food get stuck there, and that's what causes bacteria and stuff. I've been brushing twice a night now. The past three days, I've brushed twice a night. Are you, are, are you saying that on purpose, or are you, are you misspeaking? No, that's, I'm saying what happens. Every you night brush I brush twice, twice a night. at night? Twice a night. <laughs> Please explain this. So I go to bed, right? And I'm like, I need to be better. And so I brush my teeth to go to bed, right? And then every time I go to bed, I watch a movie. And I get hungry. Like something about my body in movies, I instantly get hungry. And so I'm like, okay, it's time to eat. And so I always have chips by my bed. I door dashed four bags of munchies. Two spicy, two cheese. I ate one full cheese and one full spicy. And I had a, two, and I had a two liter Diet Coke. Yeah. So I chugged the two liter Diet Coke. Plenty of vegetables there, right? <laughs> Man, uh, apparently corn. There's no corn in that. Is, is, is a pretzel a vegetable? 
Is a pretzel a vegetable? Where do pretzels come from? Dough. All right. We covered this. But so it's a grain. Pretzels a grain. Incorrect. But you pretzel, said bread's a grain. Pretzel derives from that, but it's a complete new product. It's Corn. a chip. Thank you. Cor I <laughs> got him. That's called a rope and pull. A pretzel is a pretzel. Right, we're not doing this. We're not doing it. So your final verdict is you would rather go risk the chance of prison, never be able to go in public, instead of just washing your ass free balling and using mouthwash. That's what... I don't see... I don't think... I feel like Liv, my partner, would accept me for knowing that I might be butt-ass naked anywhere. I don't think she... I don't think we could make love. I don't think she'd kiss me. I don't think she would enjoy me anymore if I'm wearing another man's underwear using another man's toothbrush. Because unlike you, Dr. Badmouth over here, yeah. Dr. Sick Breath, yeah. I'm not just going to Listerine till I die. But do I need to brush. My breath isn't bad, though. Ask Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a one-time story. Uh, yeah. yeah, definitely give me clothes vaporizing. I'm excited time. to see what people say about I'm this. I'm actually really I, excited I, to know that I get to keep the clothes. Because if they were, like, gone forever, that would suck. Yeah. I'd be wearing plain white Hanes every day. Yeah. She'd be like, ah, another t-shirt. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. No, you suck. Bro, I can't even look at you. I'm, I'm literally thinking <laughs> about your mouth right now. That sounds crazy. That sounds wild. I think about your mouth often. I knew you I think it's time it. for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop, Pop culture, pay in camp. Pop culture, pay in camp. Bow! I have a pop culture this week okay. that I think can take the whole segment. Oh, shit. Sure. If you want to talk about... I was excited about mine, but... Say, say yours real quick. No, you go. No, say yours. I Six. was going to say, uh, IHOP and Applebee's had a merger. I saw that, and if that's a real thing, that's that's horrendous for health. Imagine that. You're eating Let me get a small stack and a margarita of the month. That's disgusting. That is foul. Imagine eating eating uh, uh, flapjacks over, over a nice sangria. <laughs> Imagine that. Can I get a Miller with that? Let me get a, let's see, let me get a vodka pineapple and a Colorado omelet. Like, that is foul. Oh, my God. That is a horrible. That is murder. a barbaric place to be Who, in. That's how you know they're both struggling, to be honest. Yeah. That's once a cry they, for help. Once they change to burgers. That is a cry for help. See, that makes sense because I said IHOP changed to burgers. They did. And they they, were, it was IHOP. Chicken and waffles. It was IHOP for a little bit. Yeah. Oh International House of Burgers. Yeah, they were struggling with that marketing. Bro. Oh my god! Yeah. Pan oh my god! Pancakes and sangria. I can honestly say that I'm sounds like a song of like a bad, like the title of like a bad SoundCloud yeah. song. Pancakes and sangria. Yeah. Is that the title of the episode? Oh, that pan sand pancakes and pangria is what I said. <laughs> what was your pop culture? Okay, so I'm, I'm just saying I'm never gonna go there. I'm never gonna. Oh, go there. I will never. You will literally never be able to get photographic evidence of me inside of a. I hop Applebee's yeah, instead never. of an Apple I hop bees. Yeah, it's never, not happening. Never. never a day in my life. I thought it was bad when they fused Long John Silvers and A&W. Bro, I was driving yesterday when I was following you to get the electric scooter or the electric bike. I saw a KFC and a Long John Silvers match in one building, and I said, burn that place. <laughs> That's not terrible. Almost, K KFC holds some weight. I almost, Very called the sw I almost swatted that place. I was almost like, hey, there's something Bust happening. the door down. There. There's, yeah. there's illegal activity yeah. back. All right. I saw this on TikTok. Okay. And you're you're gonna love it because it it's right it's right up your alley. Okay. But I think it's it's very it's a very up for up in the air debate. Okay. In terms, let's say a versus battle. Okay. okay? It's artists, music. Yeah. Who would win this versus battle? This is like childhood. They, that's when both they were both popping. Okay. T Pain. And be honest. Yeah. Versus Akon. That's a good bro. In the songs they were playing, that's a good ass matchup. It's a versus battle. Who versus wins? Versus battle. T Pain. I don't know, bro. Like. Akon had Earth on lot. Like here, you pull up T Pain. I'll pull up Akon. Okay, let's just go to T. Uh, you go to like the essentials, bro. T Pain. Does he include features? Including features. Oh yeah, no. T Pain's clearing. I don't know about clearing. All right. Oh my God. All right, dude. T Pain's clearing. Okay, you have to do features. Like you have to. We have to match a feature with a feature or a solo with a solo. Okay. All mine are T Pain song. Huh? I'm not even gonna go features. Oh, okay, go. Buy you a drink. Okay. I want to love you. How's that go? As you need to. I see you whining, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know the name of that song. Up on okay. that boat. Buy You Drink is better. It's a bigger song. I really I'll don't buy know. Buy You a Drink. Yeah, it's oh, way bigger. Wee. Are you nuts? I don't, bro. Akon had Earth, like, rap. T-Pain had Earth, rap. And it was in the same time period. T-Pain right, changed go. music. Go, go. Bartender. Smack that. Bartender literally has Akon on it. How could you use that song? That's both of them. But it's T-Pain's song. But that goes for both, because we said okay, including all right, features. All right. Low. Low, smack that. 
Smack that's not better than low. It's no. So that in the apple bottom jeans. Smack that all on Bro, the floor. No, Smack, no. Keep going. Can't believe it. Ooh, I can't believe it. Lonely. It's a good song. Facts. Good song. I'm telling you, bro. It's a good song. Uh, I'm so hood. Oh, you want to go to... T-Pain wasn't in the streets like Akon. All I do is win? T-Pain wasn't in the streets like Akon had... I'm a soul survivor. Soul survivor with Jeezy? That's a great song. We take it over. Okay, I'll go to, okay blame it. All right. Locked up. Kiss, kiss. Right now. I'm in love with a stripper. Don't matter. Whoa, right now is not better than any song we have already said. I want to make a right It's not better than any of the songs I just said. It's a banger. It's a banger. Top tier song. Banger. I don't know. Yeah, that's tough. Don't matter. Then you have, then you, if you really want to do like, uh, features as well, bro, Sexy Bitch by David Guetta with Akon. She's a sexy bitch. Uh, Damn, girl. Yes, you do. That's not a good song. No, but I'm just saying. I'm so paid. I'm so paid featuring Jeezy and Lil Wayne. Come on. Akon was in the streets and giving you lover boy music. Come on, man. I'm so paid. Stop I'm trying it. To, there's, a article, Stop it. there's an article that I'm reading. It's called The Impact of Akon and T-Pain. I'm trying to see if they can pair them. <laughs> I wonder who actually did better in terms like number-wise. Let That's us know, guys. See. Let us know. And we're, we're not talking about any new stuff they've dropped. Like, you know, their, their OG stuff. Okay, let me, let me see that. How many... Oh, I'm, this is going to commercially decide. All right. All right. So I'm going through T-Pain's thing. He has uh, one, two, three. It looks like he has three number ones, right? Mm-hmm. In one number one album. Okay. Akon has two number one hits. Mm. 14 in the top 10. Oh, I didn't even so see So he, he might have got edged out on no, a couple no, no. of them. I can tell you how many. Uh, but he has two number ones. With fourteen in the top, thirteen in the top ten. I can. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. He has fifteen in the top ten. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. That's tough though. It is That'd close. It's closer than you thought. That'd be good. You That's a T-Pain good verse. That's that, a good verse. And it'd be vibes. It'd be very it'd be vi- vibey as hell. Yeah. Didn't didn't Akon like put lights in Africa? Yeah. Yes. So Akon <laughs> definitely has the philanthropy part down. T Pain's just changed music, getting grills and doing NPR. Little Don't you disrespect tiny... him? Don't oh, I love T Pain. He changed music. If forever. I personally had to choose, I'm going T Pain. But I'm just saying it's definitely closer. Like my know, personal favorite, I'd pick T Pain over Akon. I think with writing too. I wonder who wrote more hits for other people. I probably Akon. I don't know. That's a fantastic one. That's, that's a, a good, good ass verse. Good verse. I saw that and I was like, God, that's genius. Yeah, that's really good. I, I want to let us know if you're Team Akon, Team T Pain. You, you got to let us know. And that was Pop, Pop Culture, Pay Nick Cam. Pop Culture, Pay Nick Cam. Bow! Get us out of here. Oh, before you get us out of here, remember the merch is available on the 25th. March 25th, a two-piece exclusive merch drop. A hundred of each product is being made. A hundred of each product is being sold. No more, no less. And the way we're going about merch in the future, it's going to be like that. Things um, exclusive, are exclusive. High quality. You got to get it because you can never go and get it again. And there's going to be different things dropping left and right. So welcome to the new era of the merch. We got streetwear now. Boy. The street Tell us what else we got going on. We got Facebook, Twitch, Woo. Patreon, Woo. Discord. Woo. Discord, you can go be a part of the secret channel if you come into the Patreon. Patreon, we got a whole day in the life series, uh, extra episodes, bonus episodes. Of course, 10 Minute Talks with Mama Liv. you see a ton of cool stuff on there. Go check out the Koala Club now. Bow. Facebook, the official Facebook. Again, like every episode, is linked in this one. There's a lot of imposters out there. If anybody else is speaking from first person like me and him, no, it's not us if it's not coming from this Facebook that is linked right here. And Twitch. The first Twitch stream was so much fun. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hell, you said you did, so I don't know if you're lying to our face or if you were just being nice. Yeah. But plenty of more streams to come. It's going to be fantastic. This was episode 104. Do you know what that means? We didn't even talk about it. Oh, it's your one-year anniversary? Well, 104 divided by 52 is... Two years. That's good. Happy two years to Cameron! I forgot. Hey! Anyway, uh, finally hit the two-year mark. Secret code is 2YD. Yeah. I got you a gift. Do you, no, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> 2YD. What does it stand for? Two year days. Two year. 
decorate. What's two years? Two years down. Two years down. Two years down. TYD. One more to Leave go. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> One more to go. <gasps> yeah, right. Two years down. Infinity to go. We absolutely love y'all. TYD. Leave it in the comments. Confuse the casuals. Get your good karma. But. Yeah. And remember. One out of ten koala bears don't make it home to equipment. And we Hello? will see you. Hello? Next time. I didn't even hear what you said. Hello?